Hey guys, Ross here from RC Welding. So I want to show you guys a neat little project that I made last week with a good friend of mine. And, uh, he, he does, he installs furnaces for a living and I'll show you what we built uh, in my welding shop. It was so cheap to build, so easy, and uh, you could do this at home as well. So I know the project's already installed. I should have made a video of actually step-by-step -step of it being installed. But uh, basically what I had was a friend of mine, he made that, that box, that metal box there, and the tubing was existing from my old fan, which is right over here. This thing was noisy. I, I couldn't hear my music. I couldn't hear my phone calls, and it was overheating on me. And believe it or not, this sucker cost me $4,000 because it's a fume extractor for welding, uh, which was pretty much useless because every time I used it, it overheated in five minutes. And I didn't realize that because I was only using it when I was welding and shutting it off before it would overheat. But when I started using it for longer periods of time, which I had a filter box here that my buddy built with a filter in it, it was overheating and shutting off. So I don't know if that was part of the issue because it wasn't set up for fume extracting and I was using it for paint, but uh, it kept overheating on me. So we decided to go this route. I got a free furnace motor. My buddy made a box. We're bartering. I'm doing some work for him. So he made this box for free, but it probably would have cost a hundred bucks. I'm sure you can make something out of wood, vent it out your building, and then you use a furnace fan. I wired it up to my existing switch. That turns on. And then I've got my louvers up there that open to draw fresh air in. Now you don't need the louvers. You can always crack your garage door open. This I had to do when I built my building because it was part of the regulations in my city. I had to have it. But uh, this little setup here, guys, you get yourself a fan, make a box. Make sure you stick some grating on the front of it so you don't stick your fingers in there. You get yourself a really, really good exhaust fan, and this will suck everything out of the shop because it's, it's a furnace motor, and that's what it's meant for. It's meant to push air and draw air in. So uh, that, that's my cool little neat setup. If you guys have any questions on how I made it, uh, you can hit me up in the comments below. I can drop a sketch for you. Also, the rack that's holding the motor, I made in my welding shop, and we screwed the motor down to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video that I made and uh, if you have any comments hit me up below. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Take care now. Have yourselves a great week.